Hi, welcome to Mod Podge with Kathy and Steve. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we're going to show you five different ways to make a groovy pumpkin. All using Mod Podge. Happy Halloween. For our striped pumpkin, we took a foam pumpkin and painted it with two different shades of folk art gold paint. Then we applied strips of our Halloween paper to the pumpkin using Mod Podge. It gives it a great faux washi tape look. We tied the whole thing up with burlap ribbon and a great big black bow. For our mummy pumpkin, we first applied the Google Eyes. Then we soaked cheesecloth into glow-in-the-dark Mod Podge and then wrapped our mummy. Quick tip, this is going to take about 48 hours to dry. For our neon and lace pumpkin, we first painted the pumpkin using apple barrel orange neon paint. We then wrapped the pumpkin with white lace and we hot glued it to the stem area. Now we used our Mod Podge finger caps so that we did not burn our fingers. We topped it off with glitter and glittered leaves. For our vintage inspired diorama, the first thing we did was cut a hole in our foam pumpkin. Then we Mod Podged our Halloween paper on the outside of the pumpkin. Then painted the inside with black folk art paint. We used ribbon, these little pumpkins, and decorated it to our liking. For the classic glittered pumpkin, it doesn't get any easier than using Mod Podge in your favorite glitter. All you need to do is coat the pumpkin with Mod Podge and sprinkle your glitter on, tap off the excess. I like to do this over a file folder just to keep it neat. We hope you make some family memories and make your Halloween handmade. Have a safe Halloween. Thanks for joining us on Mod Podge with Kathy and Steve, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Boop. Ooh. <laughs>